Assalamu alaikum. I'm honored to have with me Dr. Ahmed Abu Dair, a PhD in Industrial Systems Engineering at the University of Regina in Saskatchewan. Dr. Abu Dair has been accredited as being a pillar of the community and has been recognized as such uh, for being bestowed upon the Saskatchewan Centennial Medal. The Saskatchewan Centennial Medal, Medal is an official honor of the Crown, which recognizes individuals who have made significant contributions to the province. He has been awarded this medal based on outstanding contributions for scientific research and on his leadership role in the community as the president of the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan Regina with a period of 2004 to 2006. Dr. Abu there, thank you for joining us today. Tell me about Regina, Saskatchewan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Regina, Saskatchewan. Regina is the capital of the province of Saskatchewan. It's one of the beautiful cities in Canada. And uh, it is located in the middle of uh, Tipperary. And uh, it, is, uh, it has a good park area, it has uh, also some industrial area, but mainly is a farmer area. Um, Regina is also, uh, there is no trees, but the project of trees, it has been hand planted more than 350 uh, trees, which you can see make the, the Wascana Park uh, beautiful as you can see. So, and this is a family-oriented uh, city, and uh, most of the people I see in our community are very happy and contributing and very productive uh, and happy to, to be here. Wonderful. And what are some of the things that you can do in Regina? Well, you can do lots of things in addition to... Uh, practice uh, for our members as uh, praying because we have this is the main mosque here at Montego Street we do have about more than five other mosques and musalla around the city and in addition to that you can have uh, summer sports like uh, doing something in the lake as well as uh, winter sports so in addition to the barbecue and, uh, and, and uh, nice cycling and so on with your family. Wonderful. And uh, what are some of the attractions that are here that one can do in Regina? Well, there is, uh, as I mentioned, for example, you can do fishing here in the lake. You can uh, do canoeing. You can uh, cycle. You can go and learn about the history in the museum, about the First Nation, about the RCMB Museum, and about the industry. Uh, there's lots of other activities which, yes, you can do. In addition, of course, to the uh, football, uh, Rough Rider, and uh, lots of other activities which you can do, yes. Great. And uh, can you tell me about the Muslim community in Regina and maybe the origins of it as well? Yes, um, I have been immigrated. I immigrated here in, uh, in in Canada, in Regina, for more than twenty years. But uh, I did learn about uh, the success of this uh, of this community. Uh, there's a few families uh, started uh, the association. They arrived in uh, the pioneer. They arrived here in 1968. A few families, which, and they opened their basement as a mosque. And after that, in 1971, they established the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan, which you are a guest uh, on for the time being. And uh, at that time, it's only a few people. The first Friday prayer in the university campus, less than 50 people participating in that in 1977. And then, the attraction for uh, this uh, city from the Muslim population is uh, becomes more and more and increasing. So in 1981, we acquired uh, a College West Avenue building for prayer. And then in 1989, we acquired this uh, uh, building, which has been converted to uh, a mosque. And this is the main mosque for the time being and the center for our community. Uh, as I mentioned, 
from the first prayer less than in 1977 less than 50 people alhamdulillah uh, in the last aid which is last month uh, more than 7,000 people showed up in the Aida prayer so the community is growing also this is a very helpful and contributing community to the society and uh, just to take a few if you look to the medical sector you will find many specialists many people who are contributing to society and uh, from all around the world they are coming here and they are members in this association in the IT most of the IT people are from our community who are uh, guarding all the information and also in the transportation system you can find many people if you jump in any cab you will be greeted with assalamu alaikum uh, 99 or 95 percent in uh, restaurants you will find uh, cuisine from afghani cuisine uh, pakistani cuisine uh, middle east cuisine so these people are very productive if you go to the university yes you will find most of the profs or the dean of engineering or they are members of our community so this is uh, contributing a lot to the society the most contribution which I believe uh, has been done in this community is to establish a full-time uh, Islamic school. This Islamic school is associate school with the Canadian system and it is teaching the curriculum, the Canadian curriculum, complete few classes for the Arabic language and the Islamic uh, culture and uh, religion and uh, this school has been found in 1999 uh, with only a few students with kindergarten grade one two and now you can put your child from kindergarten to grade 12 to the university so it's a full-time school for the time being we have more than 300 students participating in this it has been classified as one of the best in north america uh, by the Canadian system rating because most of the students are successful and the first batch graduated from this high school now they are in the last year in medical practicing or a law school practicing and so on so we are very proud with this uh, with this contribution that's an amazing accomplishment uh, finally do you have a message for viewers today yes uh, I believe uh, as, as a community member in large, we are contributing to the society. And also I found that all the people here, they are well integrated with, 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 uh, with the community in large. And we are attending the multi-faith every year. We are participating officially in the multi-faith. Finally, do you have a message for anyone watching this video today? Yes, I believe uh, Regina is beautiful and uh, it's beautiful with its people and uh, generosity and contribution to the society in general. And uh, we are participating, for example, in multi-faith and we are integrated with other uh, faith as well. Uh, in addition, we are contributing to the large community in all aspects of life. Uh, medical, engineering, uh, services, and we have other also uh, other organizations like the Muslim Student Association, which is taking care of the students in, in the university, as well as the Muslim for Peace and Justice to verify that, uh, uh, just to contribute to the society and uh, clarify our stand from the issues uh, related to the Muslims over all the world. Dr. Abu there, thank you very much for your time. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi